Hello, Grace Church. This is John Culp talking to you from Kiev in Ukraine. Just wanted to say hello, give you a little update on what's been going on. Uh, we've been mostly training, uh, and just recently our team was augmented by two additional guys, uh, including the, the chief executive officer of Bombs Without Board, Bomb Techs Without Borders, uh, Matt Howard, and we have uh, turned over the training program that we developed uh, to the trainers down at the police uh, EOD and K-9 training facility down in Shatomer. Uh, so that, that occurred today. Um, my colleague Lee and I, um, who have been doing some EOD clearance activities, some UXO clearance activities, and also training, are heading out tomorrow to Kharkiv, uh, which is further east, to do some uh, explosive ordnance reconnaissance training uh, and UXO clearance with some units that are out there close to the front lines. Um, so we're going to train two different uh, foreign units, both members of the International Legion, and we'll be uh, uh, spending some about a week out there, and then Lee is, is heading out back to the United States. So anyhow, that's kind of what's been going on. Uh, we've been uh, having an opportunity to see kind of how the police EOD do their work. Uh, we hope to also... Uh, you know, get some time with some of the other uh, explosive ordnance disposal type activities and units in country. But right now we've been focusing on the police EOD. And um, just a little bit about Kiev. Kiev is uh, a modern and thriving city. Every day more things are, are reopening in the city of Kiev. And uh, it's quite, uh, uh, quite busy and it has a very vibrant downtown. I was just down at the Golden Gate, which is one of the uh, ancient gates of the city, having a bite of lunch with a couple of uh, other American volunteers. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's very open, people walking around and and, uh, and enjoying themselves. So Kiev is definitely, uh, as far as I can tell, there haven't been any strikes inside Kiev since April the 30th. Um, there have been some around, and of course the, the war is still quite violent in the eastern and southeastern part of the country, as you can probably tell from the news. But here in Kiev, things are, are very quiet, uh, which is just the way we like it. And uh, so anyhow, I just wanted to kind of give you a little update, tell you what we've been seeing and, and what we've been kind of doing and what's, what's on the horizon. So I hope everybody is doing well. I really appreciate your continuing support and your interest and your prayers. And uh, we'll continue to uh, fight the good fight. I'm not doing much fighting, obviously, but uh, working against, working to save lives uh, and protect property here in uh, Ukraine. So, bye-bye. Have a good one.